So if we have a look at this in a bit more detail, then we're just concentrating again on this region here in the male and in the female, this abdominal cavity. And we're stripping away the skin to look at the musculature that lies underneath. And this is what we can see in this cartoon here. We can orientate ourselves again. So we've got the ziphy sternum up here and down inferiorly in this region here. We've got the pubic symphysis and the pubic crest. And we can see a whole arrangement of muscles here. We can see rectus abdominis and we can see some musculature over on this lateral aspect. So let's go through these muscles individually. Let's start with external oblique. External oblique is an important muscle and its fibres run downwards and forwards. So we can see external oblique fibres running in this direction. Like you're putting your hands in your pocket like this, running downwards and forwards towards the midline. They originate from the surfaces of the ribs 5 to 12, which we can see here, which I've noted. And also they insert down into the linear alba, this midline, here's the umbilicus again that we spoke about. And in this diagram, we've actually opened up this region here. So we can't exactly see where this muscle inserts, but it passes towards the midline and it attaches to the linear alba. It also runs down and attaches to the inguinal ligament, which is down here, and it runs and attaches to the iliac crest and the pubic tubercle. We'll cover this in more detail as we go through. Through. Previously, I've mentioned some important nerves, and the innervation of this muscle are the thoracoabdominal and subcostal nerves for, through T7 to 12. And these nerves, again, importantly run in this direction to supply external oblique, and they allow the muscle to contract. The action of these muscles, why do we have these muscles, what's the importance of them, is to flex and to rotate the trunk. So movement of the trunk enables us to move from side to side, enabling us to flex our trunk. Importantly, and this is for all of the muscles which we'll cover, they enable the internal contents of the abdomen to be compressed. This is important when we defecate and if we vomit, how we can increase the pressure within the abdominal cavity by these muscles contracting, helping to expel feces, for example. Also, by doing this, they're putting pressure on the vertebral column. So as these muscles contract, they increase the pressure within the abdomen, and that effectively is like a, a football, a bag of air, sitting against the base of a tree, the tree being the vertebral column. And that helps to stabilise us and support our vertebral column to keep us upright. So this muscle, external oblique, is important. We've spoken about it before, and it's important in moving and supporting the function of the internal environment. A muscle we can also see on this slide is rectus abdominis. And this muscle we've spoken about before. This time we can see it quite clearly. It's fibres running down in this direction. It's coming from the ziphy sternum and the costal cartilages superiorly. And it runs either side of the linear alba. So we've got some details here of rectus abdominis. It's coming from the ziphy sternum and the costal cartilages, which we can see here. But it actually originates from the pubic symphysis down here in the pubic crest. And its fibres are running vertically, we can see them here. Importantly, we have a whole series of these little cartilaginous breaks within the muscle. And here we can see how they separate this band of muscle into various discrete regions. And this gives it its characteristic six-pack appearance. And if you have limited amounts of subcutaneous fat, then these bands can be clearly identified and you generate that six-pack appearance, like I've mentioned. So here we have rectus abdominis. Similar nerve supply for this muscle, the thoracoabdominal and subcostal nerves from T6 through to T12. And again, these nerves are coming in this direction and they go to innervate the strap muscles, either side of the linear alba. We have one over on this side as well. The action, similar to external oblique in that it helps to compress the internal viscera, but it's important in flexing the trunk. So to get a nice six-pack, you often do your sit-ups, and that's this muscle reducing the space from the ziphy sternum down to the pubic symphysis. And by that, you're going to be doing your, your sit-ups, your stomach crunches.
You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.